let's talk about working with the ministry. Maybe some of our listeners want to know what it's like. What has your experience been? I think we're like maybe six months in now. Is that right? Yeah. So tell us, frankly, (laughs) what it's been like. How have you managed to deal with me? I don't know. All right. In the in the first place, when Grace reached out to me, like I was I was so shocked, I should say. I didn't expect anything like that at all. <laughs> so he came he came to me and explained, like he told me a little bit about you. So when I got to, to work with you, like I just blessed God for your life. Like mm-hmm. you're, you're so bearing. <laughs> <laughs> I know like when we started things were not easy at all. But you're so bearing. I've never seen anything like that. Actually, I already told my family, like, oh my God, God has given me a very wonderful person. <laughs> like she's so bearing. She's so good. Oh my I goodness. <laughs> you have no idea, Deborah. That is exactly what I say about you. I'm like. This poor young child, work child, woman working with me. The reason I say child is because it's, to me, your patience level is through the roof. And it is so sweet and innocent and, or seems that way. And I'm like, I don't know, because, you know, we're just, it's been bumpy at times. And, and I want to be that person to you behind the scenes, the same as the person everyone sees each week, the same as my children see, the same as all the players when I play pickleball see, the same as the people when I go to church. I want to be that kind of authentic person that you know me, I know you, this is like the real me, this is just me. And I want to be that person. And so I have felt more like even under, even when I've corrected, I've, I've not wanted to correct harshly or in a, in a mean, because we're talking about little teeny minuscule things, like maybe a misspelling or something like that, that in the end doesn't really matter because what's a misspelling to God, but yet as a professional and as an entrepreneur, we want to present professionally and we want to present with excellence and accuracy. And so that little tug of war in there has been, has been difficult. But the truth is that in the end, I know that God has all of that covered, but I've not known how to really to deal with that. I've never worked with someone like been, I'm a professor, yes, and an instructor, yes, and I have had thousands of students, but I'm teaching them Spanish, or, a, you know, maybe like first year class, or some little other class that I'm teaching, but this has been a more, you know, like colleagues kind of thing that I've never really, I've never really had, and so I have really appreciated your patience and just how willing you've been to turn and shape, you know, put this together in a new way or, okay, yeah, that doesn't work. Let's try this. Just that flexibility has really been, been amazing. So I, you know, hats off to you. (laughs) It has really been a blessing. It has really blessed my life. I've learned so many things. I've got to understand like how to associate people outside my continent. And it is really such a beautiful experience. Yeah, that one of the things I loved is that somewhere I saw on social media, I think you have listed that you're a virtual assistant at a Grateful Heart Ministries or something like that. I was like, oh my gosh, that made me feel so proud. I'm like, wow, this is such a big deal. And from the Facebook community, 
we would invite all of you to go to Facebook. It's Choose to Think and Fired Up Mind, Choose to Think Podcast and Fired Up Mind Community on Facebook. You can go search for that group. And Deborah is an administrator on that group, and she kind of holds everything together there. And she's the one responding a lot. Like if you're making a comment or something or sharing a post, we so appreciate that because that also helps to get the word out about the podcast and about our initiatives to to share God's truth and his good news with other folks and to uh, invite people into our lives to see what it's like to be a 21st century Christian. I'm, I could be Deborah's mother and she lives in another continent, but it doesn't matter because when all of those demographics fade, what you have left are two individuals who love the Lord and who are serving the Lord and we're not perfect. And, and it's been such a wonderful experience for me to work with Deborah, though I know I felt frustrated and I've not known I'm out of my comfort zone sometimes because this is a new experience for me, but it's one that is teaching me to, to slow down and to be patient and not to, um, always have to be perfect, quote, perfect, that sort of thing. And, and to think that there's someone halfway across the world who is praying for Choose to Think podcast and praying for this ministry and investing her time and energy into this program is really, really an honor. So, and we've had lots of positive comments. My friends have said, oh, I love what Deborah posts. And she just has such a nice way of writing. You can tell she's a gifted writer. She's pinning most of those things on Instagram and on Facebook on, on behalf of the ministry. So sure. she's speaking from her own experience experience and out of her own from her own soul directly from her heart to yours she's sharing things of her life so give her some love if you can when you're there but but Deborah thank you so much for all you do and for your sacrifices and for your patience and your willingness to continue to invest in the ministry we really really do appreciate that 